This is just a very short podcast on gratitude. It's not sexy. You know, it, it sounds sexy, but to do it is not sexy. It doesn't fucking... It's not juicy. It doesn't get people going. But if you're listening to this, the chances are you have a fucking great life. You have an amazing life, a wonderful life. And us in the West, we can often get distracted by the things that we want or the things that we don't have rather than the things that we do and the gifts that we do have. And for me, uh, a few years ago, as part of a, a practice that I had, a routine that I had, was I, I did a number of things during my day. I won't go into them, but it, gratitude was a part of it. And I remember that it took me about three months to actually feel gratitude. I mean, I could sit down every day and I would go through my, my routine. And I, I lived in an apartment with my partner at this stage. And I would be grateful that I had a roof over my head and we had central heating. And I remember I would often be grateful for, I used to drink bulletproof tea in the morning. So I had MCT oil, Irish butter, real butter, I had green tea. And I can't remember what else I used to put in it lemon juice i think now i use lemon juice separately to as part of my practice to get the brain going but i would be grateful for lemons you know i lived in ireland we didn't ha grow lemons so lemons were shipped from spain or wherever in the world and i w would just be grateful that you know the people in this foreign country would grow and pick lemons and they weren't doing it for me they didn't know me and they didn't give a fuck about me they did it to feed their own families or to make an income or whatever it may be pay their bills and then someone else would put them in a crate and someone else would weigh them or put them on a bus or put sorry put them on a truck or deliver them and they'd work their way over to me and no one was doing this for me they were doing it for themselves but it all benefited me so I, I felt gratitude for that but each day I'd go, go through this list of things I was grateful for and honestly it took me about three months to actually begin to feel gratitude I was so fucking switched off and I was so ungrateful because I had become a person who wanted other things. I want more. I want a bigger house. I want more money. I want fucking X, Y, and Z. I was ungrateful. And then, obviously, I went through this lesson of the relationship with that wonderful woman ending after 10 years. And the evening that she called me into the bedroom... And she said, I need you to leave. I knew this was coming, but I didn't have the fucking balls. I wasn't man enough to volunteer to leave. And she asked me to leave. And I had a week and I said, OK, I have to go. And I went out to my fucking 20 year old Volkswagen Polo and I began to live in that car. I'll talk in more detail about that another time, but I spent four years living it between that car and another car and believe me in those four years in fucking irish winters i began to face my lack of gratitude how fucking ungrateful i was and i don't say that to with criticism or scolding of myself i just didn't know any better i was fucking lost but in that time I began to develop gratitude for, fuck, for not being in a doorway, for not having a needle in my arm, that I simply had a car, that I had a roof over my head, that in the morning I could start an engine and run heat to warm myself up, that I just about had enough money to eat, that I could put layers on and get into a sleeping bag at night. That I could just about remain warm enough. That I had people I could talk to. That I was alive. That I could fucking just about stay alive. Those first two years were absolutely brutal at times. So now. I sit in this cheap apartment I gotta stop saying that but this I, I think it's a degree of my own guilt still that I'm still working through 
that I somehow feel guilty to say I'm in an apartment in Acapulco. Something's still in me, you know, that's, that hasn't owned it yet. I still, I can't believe my luck. I can't believe, and it's not luck, I can't believe that I fucking got here. That I got out of that car and that I got out of that country after four years in that car. But each day I wake up and I spend time and I'm grateful that I have a shower. I'm grateful that I have a bed to sleep in. And I feel the fucking sheets of that bed and I feel that I can stretch out. And I feel the running water in the shower. And right now I have a balcony that overlooks Acapulco. Some of the bay and the hills. And it's all lit up at night with the lights. And I can see the the moon. And honestly, there's sometimes day and night that I glance out there and I'm fucking shocked. I see that thing, Jesus Christ. I'm a fucking, I'm amazed that I'm here. That I can see this. And I remind myself uh, of my gratitude. I feel, the gra- I allow it time to feel grateful. For lots of little things that I have a flask that keeps my fucking water cold. Or my tea or coffee warm. That I have a laptop that works, that I can work on. Because there was times I didn't fucking have these things. That I have food I can cook because I spent four years unable to cook. I had to live on fucking takeaways or with a stove I could heat, you know, a bowl of soup or something like that. I couldn't cook. That I'm warm. Because I spent time fucking freezing cold with layers of clothes on me. So how does this translate to you? You, didn't, you don't have to live in a fucking car. D- there's so much that we have in the West. Forget the state of the world or fucking coronavirus or any of that stuff. It'll take you off track. But contemplate and consider the gifts, the things in your life that you wanted and that you got. You got the man. You got the woman. Maybe you got the kids. You got a fucking roof over you. You got the apartment you wanted got a car, you got a job, you have food in the fridge, in the oven, you have running water, you have a toilet. Whatever it may be, however fucking simple, to remind ourselves that we have these things, rather than all day or regularly thinking, but I want the other thing, I want the bigger house, I want the different career, I want the different woman or man or car, or whatever the fuck it is. To continually look at, no, this, believe me, could be an awful lot worse. And for me, in my experience, gratitude is something that, for me, it has to be a routine. Because I'm an ungrateful cunt, quite simply. I can be, I have been. You know, at one point I lived with my ex and we lived in a a rented three-bedroom house. I had a car, I had a motorbike. Three-bed house. And I wasn't happy. And her, fucking wonderful woman. I wanted everything else. I wanted all the shit that I didn't have. And I had to lose all of that to realize how lucky I was, how easy my life was. Now, there is another side to this story in that I was fucking tormented. And no matter how comfortable we may be or how much stuff and things we have I do allow that some of us are tormented we're tortured we have addictions and depression and anxiety and trauma that's what my work is it's working with people who are integrating that stuff so I'm not saying for a second hey if you're fucking depressed or anxious or addictive cheer up you should be grateful and happy (laughs) that's not my point we can still feel those things They're still valid. If they're within us, they're valid. But it's also just to bring in a bit of gratitude for the things that we do have. The gifts that we do have. We're entering the new world. We're entering the fifth dimension. It lies ahead. Some of us have a foot there already. Some of us are living there. 
And I think a way to move in that direction is just to realize this third dimension is actually incredible. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's just a shift in perception and thinking to recognize how wonderful this place is. And we've been brainwashed and conditioned and got lazy to just focus on the things we dislike or the things we don't have or the things we want to change or the problems in the world. But with a bit of practice, we can observe the beauty and the gifts here as well. So I'll leave it at that. I hope this was of interest or of use. If it was, please share it around and comment and be grateful. <laughs>